ओम भूर्भुव स्वेतस विदुरवरेण्यम भर्गो देवसदेव धीयो यो न प्रचोदयात ओम शांति 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 नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स We are discussing self knowledge, and today's topic is God and Avatara, Saguna and Nirguna aspect of God. That which is called Brahma in Upanishads and Paramatman in the Samritis is called Bhagwan. in the bhagavata my lord shiva whose heart is hari is identical with nirguna brahma of upanishads just as air is formless and at the same time takes the form as of a cyclone so also the formless brahma can assume a form god is both with form sakara like eyes for his bhagta and without form nirakara like steam for the gyani just as water can exist in two states which nirakara formless in the form of two atoms of hydrogen one atom of oxygen sakara with form <coughs> in the form of ice or so <coughs> brahma is both nirakara and sakara he can take a form also as an avatara microcosm in pinda macrocosm in brahmanda samasti means some total vasti means individual a tree is vasti while a grow is smasti a single match stick is vasti a match box is smasti he who identifies with the macro comic causal body or the sum total of all causal bodies of jiva is ishvara he who identifies with the macro cosmic subtle body is hirne garbha or sutratman with the micro cosmic or individual subtle body is tejasa he who identifies with the macro cosmic or collective cross body is virat or vasunara and with micro cosmic or individual body is vishwa ishvara himself assumed the forms of brahma vishnu and rudra through satva rajas and tamas and becomes the creator preserver and destroyer of the universe brahma is included in virat Vishnu in Hirne Garbha and Rudra in Ishvara. Lord Krishna appeared as Prabrahma before the sages as Supreme Tattva before the yogins as Lord of Beauty before the gopis as warrior before the warrior as a child before Vasudeva and Yasoda. as lord of death before kansa as king of kings samrat <clears throat> before the kings according to the view and understanding of the seer or subject the object is the same it appears different according to the view point of the beholder the over soul of the western philosophers is the brahma of the upanishads or atma of the vedantins 
the supreme soul or parmatman which is the spot for the individual soul is the over soul the over soul is the substance of spinoza or the thing in itself of kant the essence of vedanta has slowly infiltrated into the minds of the western philosophers and they have accepted now the existence of the one eternal principle or the immortal soul which is distinct from body and mind sri ramanujas savisesa brahma works he is all merciful he gives rewards to virtuous persons but sri sankras nir visesa brahma is quite indifferent udasina to be an udasina is the highest stage i am thine o lord thou art not i the waves belong to the ocean but the ocean is not the wave this is the teaching of ramanuja this is visishta advaita or qualified non dualism anthropomorphic anthropomorphic conception of god is that in which man gives human attributes to god mohammedan conception of god is anthropomorphic the impersonal aspect nir nirakara nirguna is called brahma or unknowable by herbert spencer will by schopenhauer absolute no menon by some substance by spinoza the personal aspect sakara of that being is termed iswara or allah hari jehova father in heaven buddha shiva etc just as vapor or steam is formless so also god is formless in his unmanifested or transcendental state he takes a form to please his devotees he assumes a form for the pious worship of his bhaktas <clears throat> he gives darshan to his devotees in the form in which they meditate for a devotee who has premanistha a form is necessary when he dwells prabhakti the form will vanish away and he will become one with the all pervading pure consciousness lord krishna is the prema aspect of iswara or the lord lord shiva is the wisdom aspect of iswara devi is the shakti aspect of iswara virat is the manifested aspect of iswara hirane garbha is the immanent aspect of iswara hanuman is the rudra aspect of lord shiva dattatreya is the combined aspect of trinity of iswara brahma is the creative aspect of iswara vishnu is the preservative aspect of iswara shiva is the destructive aspect of iswara meditate on any aspect you like attain union with the lord and cross this ocean of samsara vimal kumari came to her husband's house after the first time her brother's name was chandra the dog of her husband's neighbor had the name chandra also the name of her husband's dog was moti vimal kumari's brother had an enemy and his name also was moti two dogs chandra and moti were fighting 
the husband of vimal kumari abused his neighbor's dog chandra and praised his own dog moti vimal kumari thought that her husband was abusing her own brother and praising her brother's enemy she was a bit annoyed towards her husband vimal kumari was pained in her heart as she did not understand her husband properly she was deluded by mere names even so the vesunarites and the savites are pained in their hearts when they find the criticism of hari and shiva in shiva purana and vishnu purana respectively hari is criticized in shiva purana to increase the students faith in lord shiva and vice versa there is no other reason similarly calls are occurring in the world daily on account of delusion caused by play of sound and names a wise man goes beyond sounds and name and rests in that soundless and nameless brahma if you identify yourself with the personal god or saguna brahma you will see the world within yourself ishvara has this world within himself there is nothing outside him a jiva separates himself on account of egoism and so sees the world outside because you see the world outside there is attraction for objects the attraction for all objects will die if one sees the world within a dry pandit vedantin ignores bhakti he speaks ill of bhakti he says bhakti cannot relieve human suffering <laughs> bhakti cannot give mukti this is a serious blunder bhakti can destroy all human suffering and can give karma mukti sectarian sectarian bhakta denies advaita nirguna nirakara brahma he speaks ill of gyana he says i do not want a dry brahma without any rasa i want my leela krishna alone there is nothing beyond goloka this is also a great blunder both are petty minded beyond goloka beyond leela krishna there exist nirguna advaita brahma who is the spot or substratum for leela krishna <clears throat> leela krishna merges in nirguna brahma during cosmic parlay do sri sankara had <clears throat> full highest advaitic nirguna brahmic realization yet he says loudly my keen desire to fix my mind at the lotus feet of lord krishna my eager longing to wash his benign feet with tears from my eyes is not gone whether the all accept the presence of light or not there is always light whether you accept the existence of god or not he always exist he is ever shining in the three periods of time he exist before you begin to search him he is closer to you than your breath near to you than your hands and feet even if the tenant has not seen the maharaja he knows that there is one maharaja who rules the state from the orderly ness kept up throughout the state similarly even if you have not seen god face to face you can know his existence from the other 
from the order maintained in the universe when mind speech ears eyes and other organs are asleep the prana alone is awake who causes the vibration of prana who is the support for his prana it is brahma he is the yoni or womb for everything who is making the physical body a toy made up of clay dance in variety of ways who is the wire puller of this body find him you feel i exist this itself clearly proves that god exists existence is god or brahma you always feel despite your possessions and all sorts of comforts that you are in want of something there is no sense of fullness if you add to yourself the all full god only you will have fullness when you do an evil action you are afraid your conscience conscience pricks you this is also proves that god exists and the witnesses all your thoughts and actions there is a village known as dagheta near mutra sri swami krishnananda was doing kirtan one night with his party on 10th 1934 one lady a devotee who was much interested in kirtan locked her little girl in the house and went for the kirtan there was none else in the house beside the child when she returned she saw her child playing and laughing mother asked the child with whom you are playing my child the child replied i am playing with this old man do you not see him the child repeated these words thrice the mother was not able to see the old man the old man who was none else but lord krishna had disappeared where there is bhakti and faith the lord is always there where there is kama passion there is no rama in front of sankar kutia merit where sanyasins sanyasins stay there is a bangla of sankar dayal advocate sankar dayal has a daughter she is a devoted kiddy she does worship puja daily to lord krishna this is all due to her previous virtuous sankal sanskaras she used to pluck flowers in the garden daily for worship when she was plucking flowers one day in the early morning a boy came to her with peacock feathers on head and said child repeat this mantra he gave some mantra for japa and disappeared the boy was lord krishna only this incident to place on 5th october 1934 even in kali yuga if you have even a minute trace of faith and devotion the lord is ever ready to give his darshan in farukhabad via shikohabad junction i met a boy aged 19 on november 14th 1934 he was a bhakt of lord shiva he was repeating om namah shivaya for some months he did not have darshan of the lord he felt aggrieved on this score one day he wanted to give up his life by some means or other he did some violent measure at once lord shiva appeared in the midst of a blazing blue light he disappeared immediately the boy heard a voice child what boon do you want the boy replied i want your darshan again for a second time but lord 
Shiva did not appear before him for the second time. You can see the boy in Furukhabad even now. Bhagta, Deputy Collector Sri Bhagavad Prasad brought the boy to me in Saraswati Bhavan. The Bhagavatas are of two kinds. One, Apatika Lambanas, who worship without any symbol and who do not take the help of any symbol. Two, Pratika Lambanas, those who take the help of symbol. The first class consists of Devas and others who see the Lord as all pervading. All Devtas, 100 among the Rishis, 100 among the Gandharvas belong to this class of Adhikarin. The Pratika Lambanas are of two kinds. One, Deh Lambanas, two, Pratima Lambanas. Those who see the Lord in their body are Deha Lambanas. The Rishis, etc. called Madhyama Adhikaris belong to this class. They see the Atma in the body. The Pratima Lambanas are those who see God in an image, who cannot imagine Him without some form. Ordinary men belong to this class. Why has Lord Krishna a blue body? Because blue color indicates the all-pervading nature of God. Blue color is Vyapaka. Why has Lord Hari four hands? Four hands represents Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. Four hands denote that Lord Hari welcomes all from all quarters. He is of an all-embracive nature. Lingam of Lord Shiva signifies that Brahma is formless. Nirakara, it points out as if showing with the finger that Brahma is one without a second. Worship of Shakti or Devi is worship of Brahma only. Shakti and Shakta are one. Brahma and Devi are abhinna, inseparable. They are identical. Worship of Rama includes worship of Sita also. Worship of Radha goes to Krishna also. Savites worship Shiva only. Saktas worship Devi only. Some worship both Shiva and Parvati. In communion with the Lord, the opening and closing of the eyes cease. Inhalation and exhalation stop. Sankalpa and Vikalpa of the mind also cease. This is Unmani Avastha, the highest state of Raja Yoginj. The name of the Lord Rama is an inexhaustible storehouse for spiritual knowledge for eternal life, eternal bliss and eternal satisfaction. The Ram Nama is sacred, holy of holies. It is a it is a destroyer of the sins of persons in this Kali Yuga. Iron is. It is a spiritual food of aspirants at every step of their spiritual march towards the attainment of God consciousness or communion with Lord. Remember Lord Hari, the Supreme Lord, the teacher, the prime cause for all worlds, the destroyer of the darkness of sansara. He pervades this whole universe. He himself is without origin, but he is the origin of this universe. He is the first cause. He shines within the heart of all beings. 
he is the pure consciousness he is the warp and woof of the web of the universe he is the real the eternal the infinite the transcendental the unknown meditate on him daily meditate on his attributes sing his name you will attain immortality and eternal bliss god is the creator and director of this universe he is the indweller in all beings he is the supporter of this world he is the preserver and destroyer of this world he is the governor and inner ruler he is the protector savior and redeemer he is the bestower of supreme peace and immortality he is the giver of ojas spiritual power tejas divine splendor bala power aswarya spiritual wealth yasas fame arogya health dirga ayush long life pushti prosperity tushti contentment shanti peace shreyas emancipation vidya divine wisdom moksha liberation attributes of god god is beyond cause and effect time and space and beyond the reach of mind and speech but yet he is the nearest of the nearest the innermost dweller of the heart the very life of all that lives and moves the cave of the heart is to be sought after by every aspirant for self realization the supreme self which is full of bliss abides in this cave god and avatar god is hidden god is hidden love god is hidden power god is hidden beauty god is hidden light brahma is god of gods brahma is knowledge live a hidden life in the hidden god to define god is to deny god you can give definition of a finite object only how can you define the limitless or infinite being who is the source and ultimate cause for everything if you define god you are limiting the limitless one you are confining him within the concepts of mind god is beyond the reach of gross mind but he can be realized through the meditation with a pure subtle and one pointed mind god is truth god is love god is light of lights god is peace god is knowledge god is all embodiment of bliss god is satchitananda existence absolute knowledge absolute and bliss absolute god is eternity god is infinity god is avinashi supreme vastu god is all pervading essence or substance god is the only sara vastu god is infinite beauty there is a maker for pot or a table so there must be a creator for this marvelous world also that creator is god god created this universe by his own will and then entered into it he manifested himself in the mind and heart of everyone he is the first among the devas he is the protector of the world 
a wicked man does a crime and enters the jail as a prisoner he has no independence in the jail he is a slave sometimes the king also enters the jail of his own sweet will to see the condition of the prisoners he visits the jail in order to do good to the prisoners and redress their grievances he is quite independent if people ask where is the king now the private secretary says the king is in the jail now the criminal has entered the jail and the king also has entered the jail but there is world of difference even so the little jiva takes birth in this world owing to the force of his desires and karmas he is swayed by ignorance he has no independence he is a slave of passions he is a victim of avidya he is tossed hither and thither by the two currents which raga and dvesha likes and dislikes whereas the lord takes his incarnation in this world as an avatar out of his own sweet will in order to protect dharma and the righteous persons and punish the unrighteous he is quite independent maya is under his perfect control he is omnipotent and omniscient he has sat karma and sat sankalpa this body is a complicated machine even eminent doctors have not thoroughly understood the functions of the different organs of the body they had no knowledge of the workings of the various endocrine glands some 30 years ago now they say that the in endocrine glands play a very vital part in the economy of nature still they are experimenting and studying about the nature and working of this complex machine if you can get knowledge of the driver of the machine then only you can acquire complete knowledge of this human machine that driver is god or antaryami inner ruler truth is god it is satya vastu real thing it is satyam truth nityam eternal avinasi imperishable nirvikalpa unchanging eksa ekasar ekasar ekasra one homogeneous essence it is self existent swambho self luminous swam prakash independent at all times swatantra he has no beginning middle or end anadi anantam it exists in the past present and future it is self knowledge chit samvit vigyana prajna it is causeless it is beyond time space and causation it is one it is akhanda aparichina god and peace are synonymous terms god is very near to those who are free from lust anger greed and egoism god has no desire he is pripurna self contained he creates this world for his sporting leela it is his swabhava god is the totality of all that exists both animate or inanimate sentient or insentient he is free from age and limitations he is omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient he has no beginning middle or end he is the indweller in all beings he controls from within god immortality freedom perfection peace bliss love 
are synonymous or convertible terms. Isa Upanishad Mantra 8 He pervades all resplendent, bodiless, <coughs> scathless, having no muscles, pure, unsmitten by sin, far-seeing, omniscient, transcendental, self plan He duly allotted to the various eternal creators their respective functions. <coughs> God is omnipotent, <coughs> Sarva Shakti Man, but He is impotent in the sense that He cannot deny His own existence. The Great King cannot be seen by the ordinary persons or the agricultural peasants, but they see daily the Divan, the Tehsildar, and other officials. Through this they know that there is a king who is the supreme ruler of the state. Even so, the supreme self who is the source for everything, who is the inner ruler of all beings, cannot be seen. But you can infer his existence by looking at the sun, the moon, the stars and other marvelous objects of this universe which be speak of his supreme glory and ineffable splendor. Color and symmetry give beauty to the physical body. Beauty of body is of decaying nature, hence it is illusory, but divine beauty is undecaying and real. God is beauty of beauties. He is the fountain head for beauty. He is an embodiment of beauty. He is beauty itself. <coughs> you have great love for hair on the head. You daily comb it nicely and apply hair oil. But you throw the same hair if it falls in a cup of milk. You dislike to touch it in in loving the hair, you love your own self only. The hair appears to be beautiful and attractive because of its association with the body of the jiva and with the chaitanya or consciousness that is at the back of this body. If you see a silk sari in a shop, it is not attractive, but when it is on the body of a lady, it is very attractive and beautiful because it is connected now with the Chaitanya. This gives the clue that the gold exists and God exists and that God is an embodiment of beauty. The Grace of the Lord <coughs> Bhakti is not obtained through effort or action. It is beyond. It is obtained through grace and mercy of the Prabhu. Lord, it is Karpa Sadhya and not Kriya Sadhya. These three things are rare indeed and are due to the divine grace only, which a human birth, a longing for liberation, and the protecting care of a Satguru. Perfected says, but a virtuous noble soul will get these things. Swami Vivekananda, Gorakhnath, Bhardhari, and Nityananda had these three rare things. Even if you make effort through crores of kalpas, you will not have darshan of the Lord, but if you obtain the mercy, you will have his darshan in the twinkling of an eye. Therefore, surrender your will at his lotus feet and say with sincerity, O Lord, have mercy on me. Through the grace of the Lord, only one can get the four means of salvation, a realized guru for guidance and other means such as food, <coughs> abode, clothing, etc. Therefore, worship of the Lord is absolutely necessary. The grace of the Lord is an antidote to all sorts of fear. He who has the grace of the Lord 
will be able to cross the ocean of sansara lord's grace is a passport to enter the kingdom of illimitable illimitable bliss obtain his grace through self surrender pure love and worship even if the most impure object is thrown into the fire the fire renders it pure and imparts to it its own luster and form even so the lord purifies even the worst sinner and makes him like himself this is the nature of the lord he who loves god who rejoices in him alone who delights in him alone who serves him who adores him is a child of god he is a real bhagavata all siddhis and riddhis will roll under his feet the rich man lives in a mansion moves in a car and has plenty of food but he is not happy he suffers from dyspepsia <coughs> diabetes and blood pressure his mind is filled with cares worries and anxieties he is weak he cannot eat sumptuous food the doctor has prescribed for him arrowroot kanji and barley water he has no children a poor laborer has good health vigorous appetite power of endurance and plenty of children but he is homeless he has very little to eat he is clad in rags this is the keeping up of the balance in the economy of nature the lord bestows upon you whatever you ask if you want wealth he gives you wealth if you want health he gives you the same if you want moksha he gives you moksha mimamsas hold that karma or work but not ishwara gives the fruits of one's actions they see that karma itself can give results at a future time this is wrong ishwara alone can give the fruits of one's own works karma is insentient or non intelligent and short lived it has no power of bringing about results at some future time even the super sensuous extraordinary principle apurva which is produced by the karma before it is destroyed is of non intelligent nature it cannot act unless moved by some intelligent being ishvara ishvara is the bestower of the fruits of actions as he is the cause of the actions even god looks to the heart of devotees rather than to his thoughts or the words in which his home is is expressed the mother beats her son when he does some mischief has he any hatred towards her son no she beats him in order to correct and educate him even so god punishes the evil towards in order to correct and educate them he is neither impartial nor cruel love god as radha did this is the highest form of worship follow in the footsteps of radha feel for lord krishna like radha the love will gracefully dwell you will attain immortality and god consciousness ahilya says o oh, all merciful lord rama salutations unto thee through thy benign grace i have assumed my original form through thy mercy alone the stone become a became become became a human being thou art ocean of compassion and love the all pervading nirguna brahma who is within and without or the virat was not able to transform the stone into my original form you 
alone were able to do so. Therefore, thou art even superior to the Nirguna, Brahma, and Virat. Prostrations unto thee, O Lord, my Saviour and Protector. Glory unto thee, glory unto thy name, O Lord Rama. Thou canst not rest in peace without Rama. How fortunate and happy is that man who remembers him and sings his name. The devotee of Rama is free from all cares, worries, fears, sorrows, pains and tribulations. Rama takes care of his body. Rama attends to his physical wants. Awake and see how merciful is he. Cling to his lotus feet. Ramna propitiated Lord Shiva by his hymns. Puspadanta pleased Lord Shiva by his celebrated Stotra, Shiva Mahima Stotra, which is even now sung by all devotees throughout India and obtained all Aswaryas or Siddhis and Mukti. The glory of the Stutras of Shiva is indescribable. Why do not you all sing the hymns of Lord Shiva and obtain his grace and salvation? Not in the unknown future, but right now in this very second. You can please Lord Shiva easily. Fast on Shivratri. If you cannot do this, take milk and fruits only. Keep perfect vigil the whole night and sing his stotra. May the blessings of Lord Shiva be upon you all. The Kurma Purana says, Water is able to quench the fire, the essence of the sun to dispel darkness, and the repetition of names of Devi to destroy the multitude of sins in the Kali age. The Brahma Purana says, those who worship the Supreme Shakti, whether regularly or irregularly, are not entangled in sansara. There is no doubt they are the liberated souls. Prakriti is preparing you for the spiritual battle in a variety of ways. She is making your mind and body as fit instruments for her unhampered play. Feel this. Be grateful to the mother always. Think of the Lord alone. Think of nothing of none but your beloved. See nothing else save your Ishtam. Love God alone. Live for Him alone. Serve Him in all names and forms. Worship Him in all names and forms. Sweet Vrindavan, lovely Vrindavan, Heavenly Vrindavan, sparkling waters of Jamuna with Kadamma flowers and forest are within you. Look within, hear the inner music of the soul, the music of Lord Krishna's mysterious flute and become one with him. <coughs> the eyes of Lord Krishna serve as a bow take you to the other shore of fearlessness and immortality. Fix your mind on his eyes. Krishna comes from the root of Krish to draw. Krishna means that which draws everything to itself. What could be the thing which attracts so powerfully and subdues? It is absolute love. Krishna is absolute love. How merciful is Lord Krishna. He had the bhava of mother even for Putna who came to kill him and gave her salvation. How sweet is Lord Krishna's name. How powerful is his name. The name of Lord Krishna is nectar. It is a boat to cross this terrible ocean of sansara. It is a mighty weapon to kill this Raksasa mind. Lord Krishna is Satya Chitananda, Vigraha or the embodiment of knowledge and bliss. He has no beginning or end. He is the cause of all causes. 
he is the shelter support and the lord of all lord krishna is styled as one who steals butter because he used to eat butter stealthily in the houses of the gopis on account of his extreme love for them but he really steals the evil thoughts of devotees and fills their mind with divine thoughts this stealing of butter was a sort of sporting leela when he was a boy to instill delight in the hearts of gopis who were his devotees the gopis liked this immensely they were eagerly expecting when would krishna come and eat their butter he really steals or captivates their hearts and minds and makes them forget the world draws their minds towards his blessed feet and make them in, makes them enjoy the everlasting peace and bliss he steals the letter da in the soham of devotees and makes them feel the right significance of the vedantic formula soham i and he or the identity with the supreme self lord krishna says in the gita i give my devotees the yoga of discrimination how merciful is lord krishna glory to him and his name who can describe the beauty of lord krishna the luster of his face excels the luster of crores of suns he is the beauty of beauty he is an embodiment of beauty as by watering of a tree at the root all its trunk branches and twigs get enlivened and as the senses are gratified by the feedings of the prana or the energy with food so also the worshiping of lord krishna or achyuta gratifies all the gods lord krishna had played various parts during his stay in the world he drove the chariot of arjuna he was an excellent statesman he was a master musician the music of his flute thrilled the hearts of gopis and all he was a cowherd in nandakopa and gokula he exhibited miracles even when he was a child and a boy he killed kaliya and showed Vishwarupa to his mother, he did Raslila, Raslila, the secrets of which can only be understood by devotees like Narada, Goranga, Radha and Gopis. He taught the supreme truths of Yoga and Vedanta to Arjuna and Uddhava. That is the reason why he is regarded as an avatara with 16 colors or rays. Cause for descent of avatara. Avataras descend from Karya Brahma, Hiranyagarbha or Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. There cannot be any descent of Avatara direct from Karna Brahma, Iswara. All Avataras come either from Brahma, Vishnu or Shiva. They cannot descend from Iswara. The Bhagata desires to see his Ishta Devta in human form. This is the cause for Avatara. That is the reason why the formless Brahma is forced to assume a human form to please his devotees. The cause of the descent of Avatara is due to the shedding of tears by the sincere devotees. There is descent of God for the ascent of man. Whenever there is catastrophe in the land whenever there is unrighteousness god comes down on the earth plan to establish dharma he takes a human form when he comes down on the physical plan he is called avatar avataras are of various kinds purna avatara full ansa avatara part avesh antara Avatara, Leela, Avataras of Virat, Purusa for the preservation of the universe, etc. God Almighty does send now and then messengers to the world to disseminate bhakti for a wide and to steer people in the spiritual path. Lord Gauranga, Kabir Das, Ram Das, Goswami, Tulsi Das were all his sweet, sincere messengers. 
how kind affectionate and merciful is god o skeptics materialist atheist when will you open your eyes and ears wake up do not delay even a second god of death is opening his jaws to devour you run to him with folded hands with all bhava for refuge and say o oh god have mercy some people say how can we take krishna as the lord or bhagwan he took birth and died he is only a man this is a false statement this is the utterance of an ignorant child lord krishna only manifested himself for the time being to do loka sangraha work the solidarity or the well being of the humanity and then disappeared lord krishna is lord hari himself there is no doubt of this he had a chinmaya body the, his body was not made of flesh have full trust in him he will deliver you from the round of births he, he will deliver you <coughs> from the round of births and death respect his name om namo bhagavate vasudeva and sing his kirtan shri krishna govinda hare murare he nath narayana vasudeva sometimes the king visits the jail and enter the cell of a prisoner to see how matters are getting on in the prison he does this for the good of the prisoners he is quite independent and yet out of his own free will he himself enters the cell even so an avatar puts on a fleshy body out of his own free will for the assent of man he is quite independent and has absolute control over maya like the king while jiva is slave of avidya so long as the he has no self realization a deva or an angel or spirit can materialize and take a physical form this materialization is a th- of three kinds which materialization partial materialization wherein the form is not visible through tangible and the other partial materialization wherein the form is tangible but visible a materialized angel or a or the materialized spirit of your departed friend can shake hands with you nicely if you come across a devta you can notice that the feet of the devta will not touch the ground the eyes will be quite steady there will be no shutting and closing of the eyelids idol worship <coughs> If you come across a devta you can notice that the feet of the devta will not touch the ground the eyes will be quite steady there will be no shutting and closing of the eyelid idol worship idol or murti vigraha sun fire water ganga saligram linga are all symbols or pratikas of god which help the aspirants to attain one pointedness of mind and purity of heart a symbol is absolutely indispensable for fixing the mind the christians also have got the symbol cross a cross mind needs a concrete symbol as a proof or alambana a subtle mind requires an abstract symbol even a vedantin has the symbol of om for fixing the wandering mind in the beginning concentration or meditation is not possible without a symbol the devotee superimposes on the concrete idol the lord and his attributes he does so does sodas pachara for the idol the 16 kinds of paying respects or services to the lord such as padayam water for washing feet argayam asana seat <coughs> sanana bathing offering clothes achmana water for sipping applying sandal paste offering flowers archana burning incense wave, waving of lights and camphor mahanevedyam etc the wandering mind is fixed now in this form of worship the aspirant gracefully feels the nearness of the lord he attains purity of heart and slowly annihilates his egoism 
even in worshiping a small idol he has to repeat the purusha sukta and to think of the virat purusha with countless heads countless eyes countless hands who extends beyond the universe and the lord or atman who dwells in the hearts of all beings <coughs> For a bhakta or a sage, there is no such thing as jada or insentient matter. Everything is vasudeva or chaitanya. <coughs> vasudeva sarvam iti. <coughs> the devotee beholds actually the Lord in the idol. Narsi Mehta was put to test by a raja. The raja said, O oh, Narsi, if you are a sincere devotee of Lord Krishna, if, as you say, the idol is Lord Krishna himself let this idol move. According to the prayer of Narsi Mehta, the idol moved. The sacred bull Nandi before she was idol took the food offered by Tulsi Das. The Murti played with Mirabai. It was full of life and Chaitanya for her. How sublime is Hindu philosophy and Hindu mode of worship. It does not stop or end with worship of idol alone. The sadhaka is taken step by step to higher stages of devotion and samadhi or communion through the worship of the Lord. <clears throat> Though he worships the Lord, he has to keep before his mental eyes the all-pervading Lord. He has to feel his presence in his heart and all objects. The ways and roles of worship, puja, vidhi, and the secrets of worship that are described in the Hindu scriptures are scientifically accurate and highly rational. It is only ignorant people who have not studied the scriptures, who have not associated with the devotees and great souls, vilify worship of idols or murtis. <coughs> Many English educated persons do not attach any importance to Prasad when they get it from the Mahatma. This is a serious mistake. Prasad is a great purifier. As they are brought up in the Western style of living, they have imbibed the spirit of Westerners and forgotten the spirit of true children of Indian races of yore. Live for a week in Vrindavan or Ayodha or Banaras or Pandarpur, you will realize the glory and miraculous effects of Prashad. Many incurable diseases are cured. Many sincere devotional aspirants get wonderful spiritual experiences from mere Prashad alone. Prashad is a panacea. Prashad is a spiritual elixir. Prasad is the grace of the Lord. Prasad is a cure all and an ideal pick up, pick me up. Prasad is an embodiment of Shakti. Prasad is divinity in manifestation. Devotees of Lord Krishna should feel that every form is the form of Lord Krishna. They should not change this bhava or mental attitude. Even if a murderer appears before them to kill them, if they are established in this bhava, the nature of the murderer will be changed or some other men will kill the murderer. If the bhava changes, they should cultivate it again and again. Feel his presence always. Recognize his presence everywhere. Carry his presence wherever you walk. Remember him always. Live in him. You need not read many books. You need not roam about in room about in search of gurus. You need not stand on your head for twelve years. You need not do Aswini Mudra to open the Kundalini. I have given you the sense of all sadhanas. It is the gist of all Vedas. Practice it. Believe me, it is very easy. It will surely give you moksha, I assure you. Those who worship Hirane Garba go to Brahmaloka or Satyaloka. They wait there for the lifetime of Brahma. When the Brahm Brahmanda gets dissolved during the Parlaya, they enter the Supreme Self or 
Prabrahmam along with Hiranyagarbha. Then only they lose their sense of individuality. Hiranyagarbha Upasana is the worship of the life aspect of Iswara. <coughs> Meditation on Saguna Brahma, words of calamities. The devotees get powers through though he does not want them siddhis roll under his feet he gets emancipation by successive steps this is called karma mukti or progressive emancipation in contra distinction to the sadhiv mukti or immediate emancipation attained by a jnani the devotee goes to Brahma Loka first and then enters into Nirguna Brahma. This is called Karma Mukti. The Jnani is absorbed into Nirguna Brahma directly. This is the difference. Saguna Upaskas or those who meditate on the image of the Lord should do Trataka first with open eyes till they can visualize a clear cut well defined picture. Later on, they can visualize the picture with closed eyes. The picture must be very pleasant to the mind and the eyes. It should have a good, agreeable background. When you have created a strong mental image of your Lord in the mind by continuous practice of meditation on one form, you should not disturb the mental image by changing the picture. Stick to the same picture and strengthen and feed the mental image through repeated practice of Trataka, visualization and constant meditation on the form. Through force of habit, the same mental image will appear quite easily in your mind. Sometimes you may change even your mantra or formula when the mind is tired or wants variety, but do not change your mental image or bhava. Do not bother yourself if you are not able to have perfect visualization of the picture of the Lord with the closed eyes. Continue your practice vigorously and regularly. You will succeed. What is wanted is prema for the Lord. Cultivate this more and more. Let it flow unceasingly, spontaneously. This is more important than visualization. A piece of ordinary white paper or colored paper has no value. You throw it away. But if there is stamp or picture of the king or emperor on the paper currency notes, you keep it safe in your money purse or trunk. Even so, an ordinary piece of stone has no value for you. You throw it away, but if you behold the stone murti of Lord Krishna at Pandharpur or any other murti in the shrine, you bow your head with folded hand because there is the stamp of the Lord on the stone. The devotee superimposes on the stone murti his own beloved and all the attributes of the Lord. Image worship is very necessary for beginners. Even by worshipping a Pratima idol, Isura is very much pleased. The Pratima is made up of five elements. Five elements constitute the body of the Lord. The idol remains as an idol, but the worshipper goes to the Lord. There is nothing wrong in worshipping an idol in the beginning. You must superimpose God and his attributes on the idol. You must think of the Antar Atma that is hidden in the idol. In Bhava Samadhi, the mind of the devotee is highly elevated through pure emotion and devotion. He forgets the body and the world. His mind is wholly absorbed in the Lord. Hear the divine whisper in silence. He realize the power of faith. Feed God's sustaining grace. Know the way of escape. Build the shrine of love or the temple of devotion in your heart. Enter the silence. Enjoy the life transcendent. Forget the universe. Forget the body. Forget everything, meditate on the glory of his name, be fixed in his name, merge yourself in his name. His name saves millions from the round of birth and death. 
therefore dwell taste ruchi and love for his name you cannot live on bread alone but you can live on lord krishna's name all the divine potencies or shaktis are hidden in his name avikanda mantra chaitanya that is hidden in his name by constant repetition and have everlasting union with him god is just he punishes the evil doers to turn them into the right path to correct and educate them he does not want his children to repeat the same evil act this is his mercy this is his love the ways of god are very mysterious pain suffering disease loss disappointment failure and his blessings in disguise to strengthen his children and take them to his side my dear ram learn his ways and become wise do not get ruffled in mind by trifling incident in life grow strong evolve good god drives one of his wealth wife son etc if he wants to take him to his lotus feet do not grumble my dear prem see with boldness thy will be done o lord and rejoice have perfect trust in him expect sincerely and give the rest to god you need not be depressed on any score by tapas you can achieve anything in the 19th chapter of the gita 31 shloka lord krishna gives strong word of assurance kontaya pratijaniti name bhaktah parsvangyati o son of kunti no thou for certain that my devotee parishat never always be cheerful where is the room for lamentation when you are a devotee of lord krishna he bestows every gift on his bhakta go on with your sadhana spend your time well your state forward nature arjava and simplicity are great spiritual assets for you a bright future awaits you plow down apply diligently increase your charity charity covers a multitude of sins it is a great purifier of heart yajo dhanam tapas jeva parvanani mane sivannam gita chapter 18 verse number 5 your spiritual advancement is very poor as you have not strictly followed my spiritual instruction earnest efforts are greatly wanting in you had you been sincere and regular in the spiritual sadhana you ought to have had glimpses of the divine grace in some form or other the gopis of brindavan were wonderful devotees of lord krishna they totally surrendered themselves into the lord lord krishna played on his flute on a moon late night the gopis rushed forth immediately to where their lover was their minds were absorbed in krishna they forgot everything when they heard the flute the lane of love is extremely narrow indeed it cannot contain to where there is i the lord is not where there is the lord this i ceases to be monasic puja manasic puja manasic puja or mental worship is more powerful than external puja of the murti with flowers etc arjuna thought that bhima was not doing any kind of worship he was proud of his external worship of lord shiva he offered bell leaves but bhima offered to lord shiva mentally the bell leaves of all the bells of the world whole world he was doing manasic puja of lord shiva the attendant the attendants of lord shiva were not able to remove the bell leaves offered by bhima from the head of shiva arjuna once saw a large band of people carrying baskets of bell leaves he thought within himself that these leaves must be those offered by him to the lord and questioned them thus brothers where from do you carry these bell leaves they replied o arjuna these leaves are offered to our lord by bhima through his manasik puja 
Arjuna was struck with wonder. He came to know that Manchi Puja was more powerful than the external worship and that Bhima was better devotee than himself. He who has done puja with flowers and other articles of worship for some time can do mental worship. In mental puja, the devotee offers mentally all offering to the Lord. This is advanced form of worship. Manchik puja can be done by advanced students. Beginners should certainly do worship with flowers, sandal paste, incense, etc. You will have more concentration when you do Manchik puja. Mentally enthrone the Lord in Singhasan, seat with the diamonds, pearls, emeralds, etc. Offer him a seat, apply sandal paste to his forehead and body, offer argam, madhuparka, and various sorts of flowers, clothes, etc. Burn incense, wave lights, burn camphor, offer various kinds of fruits, sweetness, and maha. Never them offer to the Lord the fruits of the whole world. Do not be miserly. Do not be miserly even in Mansi Puja. In Mansi Puja, one man offered only one still plant and fruit and a handful of gram. A miserable miser. Even in Mansi Puja, he cannot be very generous and liberal. This world abounds with such deplorable misers in the end mentally repeat. Kayana Vacha Mansendriya Reva Buddhatmanava Parakirtite Savabhavat Karumi Yadvat Sakalam Parsamai Narayan Yati Samarpan Yami. When whatever action I do by the body, by speech, by the mind, by senses, by the intellect, or by my own nature, I offer all of them to the Supreme Lord Narayana. Also say, Om Tat Sat Brahm Pranamastu. This will purify your heart and remove the taint of expectation of reward. So at this stage, I conclude this video. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar, my dear friend. Next video number 4 will start with chapter 5 Bhagata Yoga. What is Bhagati?